The EIS 103 is one of four gap reports. It displays the changes in capital assets during the current year. The gap flag must be set to Y in order to generate this report. It can be sorted one of three ways, by asset class, function, or fund. For fiscal year end, it is recommended to generate the report all three ways. If you wish to exclude entity IDs, you can enter them here. For further information on entity IDs, please refer to the entity ID video. And we're going to sort by function on this one. The 103 can generate three reports, an EIS 103S, which is the summary report, EIS 103D, which is the detail report, and possibly an EIS 103E, which is an air report. Each fund type, government, governmental, proprietary, fiduciary, is printed on a separate page. We're going to take a look at the summary report first. The summary report displays changes in a column format. The beginning balance column is the total original cost at the beginning of the fiscal year. It should equal the ending balance from the prior year. The acquisitions column represents any capitalized items that have been added during the year or additional acquisition transactions posted to existing items during the year. Dispositions represents any capitalized items that were disposed of during the year using disposition transaction program. Transfers in represent transfer amounts into this function using transfer transaction and transfer out would it represent any transfer amounts out of this function using the transfer transaction. Adjustments include amounts for any transactions where the air adjustment flag was set to Y during the year. It may also include amounts for items that were capitalized at the beginning of the year but no longer are, or vice versa, usually due to an EIS cap run. Your ending balance is a calculated amount. It's the beginning balance plus acquisitions minus dispositions plus transfers in minus transfers out plus or minus adjustments. We're now going to view the EIS 103 detail report. This report lists the tags that make up the amounts from the summer report's acquisitions, dispositions, transfers, and adjustments. Here's one under this function. There was one tag that was added during the year and the acquisition amount. Now we're going to view the air report. The air report may be generated if there were improper changes made to the items. Possible air messages and how to correct them are covered in the EIS 103 air report video. An additional page on the detail and summary reports may be generated for assets with unknown fund types. Cause of unknowns would be assets that do not have a fund in item screen assets where the fund is in item screen but the fund is missing in fund screen, or assets where the fund is in item and fund screen but the associated fund type is missing in fund screen. You may also see an unclassified or unclassified function line on the reports. This amount is made up of items that either have an undefined function or asset class code. To find the actual tags tied to those amounts, run a 304 report for capitalized active items and scan down the asset class and function columns to find the missing codes. If you find a missing code, perform a transfer transaction to add it. To assist in balancing at the end of the year, the totals for each fund type on the 103 should match the totals on the 101 and the 102 reports. Please refer back to the video selection for videos on the other EIS gap reports as well as the EIS 103 air reports.